today I am cleaning up my fridge so I thought I would do a cleaning video and I found a couple of hacks on Pinterest I wanted to try and so I definitely want to see how they work but I'm just showing y'all the before. It's not too terribly bad but it's not how I want it to look and we have a bunch of like leftovers up here that we're not going to eat so we probably should throw them away. But yeah, so let's get started. All right guys, so I'm just starting by taking everything out of the fridge, taking the dates and make sure they are in date. And if they're not, I'm throwing them away, pouring them down the sink, the usual. Now I'm just gonna start taking everything out of the fridge because I feel like taking everything out of the fridge is a lot easier to do than to try to clean everything while it's in there. And I'm setting everything on my table. Baking soda is a really good thing to put in your fridge to help with smells, especially if your husbands don't know how to put things in containers. keep my produce all in one drawer so I keep it at a certain temperature so everything stays to date. Everything's out of the fridge and it's pretty disgusting. It's a lot more dirty than I thought. You can see all the crumbs and everything and the shelves and it's pretty nasty especially in this drawer. So I'm just using these Kroger disinfectant wipes in the orange scent to clean out the sides of the doors while I take the drawers out. I'm just gonna clean these and scrub them a little bit. I'm using Gain, just their original scent to scrub with. And this brush is actually from Walmart and it has a scraper on the other side in case there's anything like super stuck on that I need to scrape off. Like I said, I'm just wiping out the doors and taking the shelves out as I wipe the doors. These shelves came out way easier than I thought and I did not even know they came out so that helped me a lot when cleaning so I could deep clean a lot better. the doors while I clean the drawers so it stays pretty cool in there and now I'm just gonna clean the rest of the drawers now I got all the drawers clean so I'm gonna start on the shelves most of these shelves were pretty difficult to figure out how to get them out and that one was pretty nasty but it took me a while to figure out how to get them out I don't think this fridge ever been deep cleaned before so it was stuck in there pretty well. And I'm just using the same wipes to wipe down the sides and the inside of the refrigerator. And I noticed that they weren't doing the job so I went and got some Method disinfecting spray and it's multi-purpose so you can use it on all surfaces. So I'm just wiping it down with that and I'll uh, wash rag. And 
underneath this drawer was pretty dirty. I didn't even think about cleaning at first. Now everything looks pretty nice and clean. Now I'm just drawing off the drawers and I'm gonna put them back and I'm probably gonna rearrange them a little differently so I can fit more stuff in them. And we have a couple of two liters that wouldn't fit in the door before. So I'm gonna try to adjust the shelves to where I can keep them in the door instead of putting them on the shelves. And I'm just putting everything that goes in the doors back in the door so I can get them cool again. As you can see, my husband loves hot sauce. And some things I had to move around because they wouldn't fit or I didn't like where they were, so I moved things around a little bit. I had to adjust this shelf so I could fit that tall ketchup bottle on the bottom shelf. everyone else but I love the labels facing out for some reason so now I had a couple of dishes in the sink and these drawers are pretty big so I'm just gonna take everything in the sink and rinse them out and put them in the dishwasher This big drawer was really difficult, especially because I have a super, super small sink. It was very hard to clean just because I couldn't get the water in there well and it was getting all over the place when I was cleaning it, but I ended up doing it as well as I could. There was even some stuff on the back, so I had to get that taken care of as well. Have been a lot easier to clean this drawer if I had a bigger sink but obviously I don't so now I'm just taking a disinfectant wipe again and just trying to get all the little creases because those get disgusting and you don't see it until you take the drawer completely out so now I'm just drying it so I can put it back in the fridge so I can put everything back in it so I can get it cold again I'm going to start on the clear drawers. These were really, really easy to clean, except for the fact that they got water stuck in every little crevice. And so when you pick it up, it pours all over you and all over the floor. It was a little difficult to keep the water contained, but it cleaned really well just because of the material of the drawer. got a lot of stuff stuck under them so I had to try to clean that the best I could and again I'm just taking the soap and scrubbing the sides and the inside and the outside
and now I'm just gonna start cleaning the shelves that were in there. These were actually pretty disgusting, so it took me a while and I had to scrape off some gunk on them. They were very bad. And I saw on Pinterest this hack where you could just take glad presents or wrap and just put them on your shelves to keep from having to deep clean your fridge all the time. So when something spills, you just peel off the press and seal wrap and you're done cleaning. So what I saw on Instagram was just taking glad press and seal and putting them on your shelves. So if something spills, you can just pull this off and it's easy clean. Um, I think it'll work, but I don't know how long this will last and it doesn't look like on Pinterest it looked like it was invisible and you could barely see it which it doesn't show up horrible like you can't you can't tell terribly but I can tell it's there I'll probably try it for a day and if I don't like it I'll just pull it off but it's definitely gonna help with spill so if you have toddlers and they like to get in your fridge this will probably help a lot and now I'm just gonna finish cleaning the rest of the shelves so I can get them back in the fridge because it's been almost an hour that I've been cleaning and I need to get this stuff back in the fridge. All right guys, so I finally got it done in but I decided to take off the press and seal wrap because it just did not look very good. But everything looks great now. All right guys, if y'all like this video, just give it a thumbs up down below. And in case anybody was wondering, our fridge is a Samsung. So, we have a Samsung, but if you have any questions, just let me know. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can get notifications when I post. And thank y'all for coming. Have a good day.